Hi, I'm Robert. Hi, I'm Yudi. Welcome back to Eastland English. This is our second English Adjectives Evaluation Test Tutorial. Directions. Choose the best option to complete each sentence. Number one. He is an honest and blank man. He always expresses his opinions frankly. A. Secretive. B. Sociable. C. Stubborn. D. Direct. Let's look at some clues in the sentence to help us out. Our first clue is the phrase honest followed by and. The conjunction and tells us that we need an adjective relatively equal to the word honest. We can cut A because a secretive person keeps secrets and hides thoughts. Stubborn is an adjective that doesn't work here as it isn't a positive adjective. Let's delete B because a sociable person likes to be around others. The last word in the sentence, frankly, can help us choose the word direct because frankly means in a direct manner. Number one should be He is an honest and direct man. He always expresses his opinions frankly. Here is number two. The construction company only gave us a or an blank estimate for the project because they have not gotten the exact costs of the materials. A. Careful. B. Rough. C. Expensive. D. Detailed. The first keyword only implies limitations. We need an adjective for the word estimate. Because of the word only, we can eliminate both A and D. Both of these adjectives would not be used with the word only. The last key phrase is not gotten the exact costs. If they haven't gotten the exact costs, we wouldn't know if it's expensive or not. The correct answer is rough, which means not exact. Number two. The construction company only gave us a rough estimate for the project because they have not gotten the exact costs of the materials. And now, number three. Always the life of the party, she is sociable, beautiful, and blank. A. Elegant. B. Peaceful. C. Depressed. D. Dull. The life of the party is someone who always gives energy to any gathering that they go to. Sociable and beautiful are both very positive adjectives. Finally, the word and tells us that the third adjective should be in the same category as the first two. So, we can delete D because a dull person is boring. Similarly, a depressed person is very sad. Peaceful is a good second choice because this person would have peace inside their heart. However, there is a much better adjective to use here. The best choice is A. Elegant equals attractive or stylish. Let's hear number three. Always the life of the party, she is sociable, beautiful, and elegant. Number four. When he saw the mountain ahead of the airplane, the pilot immediately pulled into a blank climb to avoid it. A. Deep. B. Steep. C. Level. D. Shallow. Our first context clue are the words mountain ahead. There is danger for this pilot and the pilot must pull into or begin some kind of evasive action. Climb is the noun for going up. Going up is the only way to not hit a mountain. One of the least likely choices is C, level, as there would be no action required to go flat. We can cut A because we use the word D for going down, not up. Although shallow can be used for either diving or climbing, a shallow angle is not an extreme angle. 
The correct adjective is steep, which we use for going up very quickly. Let's hear number four. When he saw the mountain ahead of the airplane, the pilot immediately pulled into a steep climb to avoid it. Number five. Her choice seems blank, made without reason or consideration. A. Logical. B. Thoughtful. C. Random. D. Precious. Our first key phrase is without reason. Reason is a synonym for logic. Because it's without logic, we can't use a. Consideration is the same as thinking about something. Therefore, we cannot use b. Precious is out of context, as it's the same as valuable. The best choice is random, which means without reason. The whole sentence for number five is. Her choice seems random, made without reason or consideration. Number six. When the comedian told his blank story, everyone in the audience laughed out loud. A. Humorous. B. Lengthy. C. Crucial. D. Monotonous. Let's look at the word comedian first. The root word for comedian is the word comedy. A comedian's job is to get people to laugh. A comedian wouldn't likely tell a monotonous story. A monotonous story wouldn't entertain people. Although lengthy could possibly be used, lengthy only means long. Crucial is out of context. Humorous is the best choice for this sentence. Now that we've completed the blank, let's hear number six. When the comedian told his humorous story, everyone in the audience laughed out loud. Number seven. Most health professionals would not disagree with your having R O N blank piece of cake for dessert. A. Obligatory. B. Customary. C. Necessary. D. Occasional. We'll begin by looking at the words "not" right next to "disagree with." "Not" and "dis" are both negatives. Logically speaking, these two cancel out each other, and we can go directly to "would agree with," which means the same as "allow." However, the subject is still health professionals, which means doctors, nurses, etc. What kind of piece of cake would doctors and nurses allow? Certainly, doctors and nurses wouldn't think cake is necessary. Option A, obligatory, is the same thing as necessary. The word customary, with the root being custom, equals usual. A custom is something that you usually do. The correct choice is occasional, which has the same meaning as from time to time. Here's number seven. Most health professionals would not disagree with your having an occasional piece of cake for dessert. Number eight. You must be extra careful when driving in the rain because the road can be very blank. A. Dense. B. Concentrated. C. Slippery. D. Arid. Our key words in this sentence are the phrase "extra careful," "rain," and "road." What kind of condition is caused by rain that you need to be extra careful when driving for? When the road is arid, is dry, you don't have to be extra careful. The words dense and concentrated mean the same thing. For an example of the word dense used in context, please see our English travel vlog, episode eleven. The only viable choice here is slippery. When the road is slippery, the tires don't stick well to the road. Therefore, you must slow down and be extra careful. Sentence number eight completed sounds like this. You must be extra careful when driving in the rain because the road can be very slippery. Here's number nine. 
Mr. Yale was the person in charge of the project, so we must hold him blank. A. Creative. B. Accountable. C. Intentional. D. Managerial. Person in charge is the term we use for leader or the person responsible for something. In this context, hold equals consider. The solution to this question relies on which of these adjectives collocates with hold. Intentional does not collocate with hold. Neither does creative. Although managerial does fit according to the context and the meaning of this sentence, unfortunately, we don't use it in collocation with hold. The best answer is accountable, which is similar to responsible. Now let's hear number nine. Mr. Yale was the person in charge of the project, so we must hold him accountable. Here's number 10. The fans were surprised that Smith was awarded most valuable player, considering his blank performance throughout most of the game. A. Continuous. B. Brilliant. C. Unremarkable. D. Faultless. Fans are supporters or spectators at a sporting event. The most crucial word here is surprised, which means that they didn't expect him to get the most valuable player award. What kind of performance would surprise the fans? If Smith was brilliant, then they wouldn't be surprised. Similarly, a faultless performance would be the same kind of performance as brilliant. The root word fault means error, Faultless is a synonym for perfect. A steady performance would still be too good to surprise the fans. Unremarkable is the best choice for number 10. The root word remarkable means worth talking about. However, the prefix before it means not worth praising at all. The whole sentence for number 10 is... The fans were surprised that Smith was awarded most valuable player considering his unremarkable performance throughout most of the game. Here are the CEFR levels compared to American terminology. A B1 learner would be considered intermediate. B2 is upper intermediate. C1 is the same as advanced. And C2 is proficiency or near native user ability. Your score and rough estimates of your level. 1 to 3 equals B1, 4 to 6 equals B2, 7 to 8 equals C1, and 9 to 10 would equal C2. Before we conclude this video, we have a disclaimer. Although English language research teams are currently working on it, there is no standard yet for accurate ratings of word difficulty. We are using the CEFR ratings as suggested by both the Cambridge and Oxford online dictionaries. but even they differ considerably regarding the ratings of some words. In this video, we provide the ratings as given in those dictionaries in order to help you evaluate yourself regarding your current level of English knowledge. Thank you for studying English with Island English. If you liked this video, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. See you next time. See you around. Goodbye. Bye-bye.